erosion has stopped working. You see, water usually carries nutrients and particles from point A to point B, but this phenomena has stopped occurring. Trust me, I was diagnosed with 10 PhDs in science from Stanford and Harvard, and one in flat vision.
Welcome citizens to the world today. It is April 28th, 2024, and I am your news anchor, Branley. Cheerful as always. Today we will begin with the jolly old weather. It's sunny again. Yep, that's right, it's still sunny. Dogs are dogs. One plus one is still two. And two plus one is still three. The sky is still blue. It's an average day as the day can be. And tomorrow the weather is expected to be snowy with a high of 20 degrees Celsius height and a low of 20. We have some forecasts in the weather for you here. But I will move on to the next story, the daily disaster here. The daily disaster story is actually quite bad and uh, is happening right now as we speak as I'm reading from this teleprompter. Over the last couple days, the world has begun descending into madness. One criminal by the name of Maximilian M. William is the cause. The crime? Inflation. Some might call it superinflation. Maximilian M. W., as he calls himself, is causing all of this inflation. How, you ask? Well, he has obtained a dangerous weapon capable of turning anything it touches into gold. As you can see here, it can turn nearly any object into the shiny metal, such as boxes, rocks, and even clothes. Now, you may be, this may sound like a good idea to you, but too much gold is indeed bad. Very, very bad. Like, we're all flipping done for bad. My sources tell me that we have about two weeks before the damage is irreversible. The whole world's economy will fall into complete and utter chaos. Of course, that's just speculation. If you look here and pretend these are all $100 bills, in two weeks, all of this will be completely worthless. That's all for today, though. My name is Branley, and I'm your worldwide news anchor. Have a great day. Jeez, Pringles. When do you think Clyde's gonna get here? I need to tell you about. Please do. Oh, there was this one time I was in the woods and this moose was just running away with a cooler. You know the ones full of sparkling water? Yeah, Some yeah. Some camper's coolers. It was taking it. Why? Or I witnessed three murders. The bird kind. Oh, okay. I All felt right. like you would appreciate because of your love for cuckoo clocks. Yeah! Oh, now that you're here I should probably turn on the lights. Sorry, Frito. the whole way down there was a bit of rain um and i found this little off the side of the road diner that i think you would quite enjoy it mm. so much of the decor just reminded me of our adventure that we had that one time and i just think you would really appreciate it they had some really good cuckoo clocks yeah i'd love to go there how's the business going anyway any updates um well it's been pretty booming you know um a lot of the wood kind of shortage, you know, but it's fine. Um, I've been, it's been going well. You know, people need clocks. It's not like the world's gonna end. Um, so what should we talk about now? Hmm. You know, I've heard about that wood shortage you were talking about. Yeah. Sounds like a real tragedy. Yeah, it's, I'd like, people can't find wood anywhere. And I'm like, go to the woods. It's right out there, you know? You're just the mind of our generation. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, so how about we play a game? Oh, that would be fun. Do you have popcorn seasoning? Um... Uh... 
hard. I'm, I'm missing a few ducks, so it wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. I do have Candyopoly, though. How would you like to play? With candy, of course. Place your bets. You know, I haven't played this game since I was a kid. Yeah, I I play it with my friends quite a lot. Although I don't get to see them quite often. Hmm. They also work in the cuckoo clock, cuckoo clock business. Of course. Nine. willing to strike a deal. What deal? You see, there's only one Snickers in supply, and it looks like you need it to complete your set. The demand for the Snickers, well, that curve is very high. Now, since there is only one Snickers, the supply is so low and your demand for it is so high. I suppose. I'm going to need quite a bit of compensation for it. Name your price. A thousand. No. Do you want to complete your set? Not my favorite. That's fair. So, tell me why you're so good at bargaining. You see, in between our last journey, I got diagnosed with a new PhD. In what? Advertising. Wow. Things. What a person. If I re-own this property, I don't need to do anything. You know, you mentioned earlier that your only friends in the area are also from the cuckoo clock business. Yeah. It gets a little bit lonely sometimes. Have you ever thought, what if you had another friend in the area? Not really, but now that you mention it... My, my apartment back home has been getting a little small for me, and I've, I've been looking at other places that I could go. 
I would love for you to come here. <laughs> that would be wonderful. Me. Roommates. Roommates. Snake eyes. Snake eyes. That's my store! But one of your buildings, not gumball machines, in free candy. Oof. I can't lose Snickers again. Kit Kats. Oh! <laughs> I've just won the lottery, and no one ever does that. Seems like a scam. It's all a scam. <laughs> so, how, how did you get so good at this? How, how did you get diagnosed with a PhD in advertising? Well, you see, there's some main tactics that advertisers use that I've been using our whole game so far. They'll use positive associations, like they'll link something that you like to the product. It's candy. Everyone likes candy. Or they'll make their own opinions sound like real facts. Ooh. I know. Or they'll create positive feelings towards the products to make you remember them and use humor to gain your approval. Sometimes they'll even use testimonials from people that you know or people that you look up to. All the advertisements with celebrities saying, you should get citric acid. It gets you. It gets you. <laughs> you get that citric acid, and they get you. I can't believe you've been using this on me the entire time. It's just to teach a valuable lesson that you need to know about how these advertisers are trying to get into your head. And this isn't just any piece of scrap paper. It's my diploma. That's wonderful! Sugar Rush, yes! Winner. Steal all of your opponent's money. Uh, the one aspect I always overlook. Chance. Boop, beep, boop. I, I got a message. Sorry we had to clean up so soon. It's fine. We have to see what this is all about. The government issued me this computer since we last saved the world and stuff, you know. Trap tech. Trap tech. Alright, let's see what this is about. An important matter. Suspicious. Hmm. It was from a at government account. Downloading. All right. Do you have any idea what this is about? All I know is that the world was in danger again, and they decided to call on us. Greeting Blair and Clyde, this is Sir Devon Richard from the World Leadership Council. I have called you here today, or rather sent this message, as our council is quite busy voting on the Bill of Ferret's Rights, to inform you of a rather dire situation. A person, Maximilian M. William, has recently acquired a weapon capable of turning everything it touches 
to gold. And he is destroying our economy. I, Sir Devin Richards the Third, was put in charge of mediating this situation. From my sources, I believe that you, Blair and Clyde, are the most suitable for this job, given your past world record of Earth-saving prowess. You've saved this gosh darn planet once, and you're gonna have to do it again. Blair, your wits, and Clyde, your science. They shall make quick work of this Maximilian, should you choose to accept the job. Well, there's our mission. Let's go. My gobs. They've been stopped. They've been stopped. Let's get going. I wish we got a map this time. I just, we've already been out here for like a day and I don't know what to do. Yeah, I mean, there's a willow tree. They're supposed to be wise, right? Like movies. Yeah, that, that happens, right? Wait, there's someone there. Hello? Hi? Hello. Who are you? Hi. And Mansa Musa. Oh! <gasps> no, no way! Oh my God! I've we've been such big fans. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Oh. I've been standing around here waiting for two prophesized heroes. Oh well, that that, that couldn't be us. That couldn't be us. We're just no. here to save the world again. Oh well. Anyway, would you like to sit that? Um, stand up and that, chat. That would be lovely. Yeah. So, how are you still alive? I foolishly paid off the gods of aging with my vast wealth. Wow. That sounds intense. Can I offer you a snack? Oh, thank you. You know, I really would love some wafers right now. Yeah, okay. Ritz crackers? Oh. I want my money back! You can't get your money back. The economy is down. Right. So is it true that you developed Timbuktu as an important cultural center? And put the Kingdom of Mali on the map? <laughs> yes, it's true. I ruled for about 25 years, if I recall. I came into power after previous months uh, was lost at sea. That's so cool! Uh, well, not the fact that the previous one was lost at sea, but yeah. Back then, gold and salt were so valuable. Now, you can just go to the supermarket and buy it whenever. Amazing! Salt is everywhere. Salt is even on these Ritz crackers. And in them. And your pilgrimage to Mecca? Yes, that's where the tales really took off. I actually caused a bit of inflation in Egypt. So why are we here originally? To learn about inflation. 
What is inflation? Inflation is when the price of products go up over a period of time. Oh, okay. There are three different kinds of inflation. First, there's cost push, where prices to make things goes up and it pushes the price along with it. Second, there's built in, which just kind of happens over time. Workers want higher wages and prices go up with them. But what we're dealing with is none of those. We're dealing with demand pull inflation, meaning people have way too much money and demand is going way too high. And high demand mean the prices must raise too. Mm -hmm. You know, this is, this is making me realize I really should have pursued economics when I went for higher education. You know, I, I have 10 PhDs in science and one in fly fishing, but I really don't know much about this. I am a wise one. So, I'm not really getting the real problem here. Like, if the, if the, if the wages go higher, won't the prices just go up to match and that's that? It has to do with something called the power of the almighty dollar and how it relates to other currency. With less inflation, it means that the dollar is worth more. For example, one dollar for wafers. Amazing. But five for something that's not even wafers! So why can't we just print more money? <laughs> Child, let me tell you a story. What's that? My notes. It's been a minute since I've told this. After World War I, Germany was in pieces, full of debt, and wanted to get back up on its feet. The Weimar government decided to print more money to solve the problem. Thing is, this currency was backed by nothing but what they said. And they printed more money, prices rose. See, if someone could buy a loaf of bread from you for the equivalent of a dollar, but everyone had tons of money, you'd run out of bread too fast. So what you do Raise the price. The spiral, this spiraled out of control, and soon that one dollar bread was selling for two million dollars, then a hundred billion dollars. For real. I'm not making this up. And that's why you can't print more money. That's awful. I don't want to have to sell my bread for a billion dollars. He stress bakes. Another thing you should know, all this extra gold is also making investors speculate about the grim future of our economy. So they're no longer investing in it. And after this starts, it gets bad, just like Germany. Enough talking about the end of the world. Do you have any cool a thousand year old advice for us? No, no, I don't have any advice for you two. You're good on your own. Get to figure all that stuff out the more you live life. Plus, I already know that you guys are going to make it out alive. You guys got some pretty cool plot armor. Anyway, before you guys go, I want to give you a token of thanks for sitting down and talking to me. It's a rock. Thank you, Mansa Musa. You're welcome. Well, we better be off. Uh, well, you guys have a wonderful adventure. Thanks. It was nice meeting you. Hold, hold, hold on a minute. Is that your sword? That, that just, that tiny wooden block, that stick, I could rip this off a tree and I would have that, what is this? So tiny, will you fight with that, a rat? A, ra a raccoon, raccoon, actually. That, that won't do for this. Here, take this. You have a wonderful journey now. Oh, and I do have a bit of advice for you. Never meet your heroes. Oh. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. It's all right, buddy. Yeah, this is actually kind of cool. Yeah. Man, now that we're in New York City, I wish we could like see cool places like Broadway. That would be cool, but you know, Max is out there and we want to find him before he finds us. Also, New York is just a dangerous place. You know, it's the first place that gets attacked in all the movies. 
Yeah, that's quite odd. I've noticed that too. It's so strange here. The... Why? And there's all these rats running around. True. There's less than usual though. Hmm. I heard Max was turning a bunch of rats into gold. Odd. <laughs> that's not a rat. You know, I mean, one thing that it might be a positive is that Max made the pyramids look exactly like they used to. With the gold up at the top? Yeah. Oh, it's pretty cool. You know, it's it's so cool to be here. It's a shame we couldn't get that Sphinx ripple that you wanted at the gift shop. Yeah. Too much stuff in our backpack right now. Had to tie it. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? I think one of the bricks must have fallen. Maximilian William. Maximilian William. This place we snuck into us. Internet, I think. Wow, okay. We should check the news to see what's going on right yeah. now. Yeah. What's trending. Here, the top video and forehead book we have right here. Hold on. What's up, chat? So yesterday, this dude hopped my fence. I was like, whoa. And then he turned my lawnmower to gold. It was all really, really suspicious. And then the police came by and took my golden shopping cart. I was like, what the flip? <laughs> Why is this trending? I don't know. I guess the people are outraged. Cool castles in Ireland. Yeah, I I heard that there was the stone that people kiss for good luck. The Blarney Stone? Yeah, but it it's turned into gold and now this. It's just gone now. Yeah. Huh? It's just like that sometimes. Welcome today, uh, citizens. Today is not April 32nd, 2024, and I'm your news anchor, Branley. Not cheerful, as always, because the world is ending and not even the national police can seem to catch one ordinary person. International criminal Maximum M. William has continued to cause widespread panic and has just turned the Colosseum to gold. Every time the police are sent to capture him, he buys his way out by giving them even more gold. Why are they so stupid? I know I'm not supposed to editorialize, but I feel like it goes without saying. Will anyone be able to stop Max MW? Tune in tomorrow for more breaking news and another daily disaster story here on WRT Wart News. Absolutely cooking this up out of heat. Yeah. It's actually pretty nice up here though. Yeah, it's a good roof. I've heard that it is a safe haven for the townspeople. That's pretty cool. You know, it... what's that? Gold. Maps. It sucks that we ran out of that $5 wafer or whatever. $5 for a wafer can, that was just grits. You know, Disappointment never ends. I think there's a gas station right around here. Do you want to hit that and get more snacks? Sure. Cool. It seems I'm being followed. <laughs> I've got them now. <sighs> it's so cold. Yeah, and there's barely any snow left. Global warming and all that, you know, turning the Antarctica all sad. Does this mean that, like, Santa's house is gonna, like, sink or something? That's the other pole, silly. Mm. Okay. Although, 
A gift? Huh. You know, I heard that, that Wheel of Misfortune thing. It was some famous graffiti artist, and oh. he painted a Wheel of Fortune, but instead all the dollar zero all the dollar values were zero or like lose a house. Oh. Wheel of Misfortune. Yeah. <laughs> It is kind of unfortunate that we're stuck in the bottom of three kids' mine. Yeah, that's pretty misfortunate. There's gotta be something useful around here so we can climb back out. Hey Blair, look at this. Huh? Oh! Whoa! Do you want it? I think that since I have this, you could have that. Nice! Two-fisted. <laughs> this is really cool. Thank you for letting me have it. Yeah, no problem, dude. Speaking of Clyde, I got you something. What'd you get? You'll never believe it. Clark. Is that what you got from that gas station? Yeah. Oh god, I've always wanted Clark. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. I'm making your farts on. Like air bubble. pretty gross, dude. I mean, hey, you said you wanted flour. That's my own downfall. <laughs> nothing Arizona. There really is nothing here. Ghost Town, established in 1977, max of four people. That's not a lot of people. Yeah. Hey, speaking of max, gold. You know, this whole situation has made me, if, I feel like I've heard it somewhere. It might be the King Midas story. T tell me. It was, it's this ancient Greek story about a king who wanted everything and he ended up getting the power to turn things into gold. He realized it wasn't all that great at the end though. He ended up turning his daughter into gold and he oh. really regretted it. He ended up running and having to wash his hands out in this river. Mm. But everything he touched turned to gold. Kind of like the guy we're chasing after. Yeah, I mean, maybe he'll have the same fate. Who knows? We'll see.
This is a perfect place to give back to the people. Everyone can do what they want here. You know, people in Slap City here are actually really nice, surprisingly, even though there's like not many at loss. Yeah, I mean, I could even get a sheath from my sword here, and most of the places in the States you can't conceal your sword if you have one, but you can still carry it, so, you know. Hmm. That's Interesting. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Why do they call it Slab City, anyway? I'm pretty sure it's because all of those buildings, they're just a bunch of concrete slabs, honestly. Wow! DIY? DIY. What's that house over there? I don't know. We should check it out. It's full of glass bottles. Get over here. What? You know, I heard that there's a bottle wall somewhere around here. We should check it out. It's at like a sculpture garden. They might have cuckoo clocks. That's really cool. Yeah. And, you know, speaking of bottles, you know ships and bottles? Yeah? It looks like Max must have been here. The ship is gold. Dang. Hmm. We gotta go. We're on the right track, though. Yeah. Um, let me go get something. Perfect. Let's go. Seems they've caught up to me again. really is useless, isn't it? Much better. You know, the forest that we're in right now, some guy named Bill, so many years ago, he took a compass and a map and just like made the shape of the forest into what looks like a tiny Minnesota. Doesn't look like Minnesota. Well, that's because it's too big for us to really see. Right now, all we can see is this tree. True. Speaking of, what's... Is this much gold? Ugh, oh, Max. Well, Blair, welcome to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yeah? I mean, like... Max has gotta be around here, right, Clyde? Like, the tree is gold. Gotta be close now. Blair, look what I found. Ooh. Come candy. Clyde, can you get like an ice cream too? Sure. Which ice cream do you want? Sandwich. Are we ever gonna really catch up to Max? I mean, we've gone all over the whole world and we still haven't found him. Yeah. I mean... He's gotta be somewhere and, you know, it hasn't been too bad traveling with you. Yeah, it's honestly been kind of fun. Hmm. I guess we'll find him somewhere. <laughs> and until then, I get to travel with my best friend. here. He's gotta be. I mean, like, everything that we've done up to this point leads to right here. You ready? Let's go for it. Max. You may think you're saving the world, but there will always exist people who bring their laptops to movies. Well, 
I'll bring my whole PC every time. Go get him, Blair. Did he win?
I've always hated this little f It was nice we could find a place to stay the night, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. First battle loss. <laughs> we have gold weapons now. Can't really use those again. Yeah. We gotta find him again, don't we? Yeah. We can't give up yet. We have to find him again and try to figure out how we can get past him this time. Maybe we should just sleep on it. I, I think we've done enough today. That's a good idea. Here. Night. Good night. Like a middle of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, I heard this tunnel, some movie director and a bunch of high schoolers painted it. Looks all cool. Yeah, that's so cool. Oh, God. It's quite the journey we've had, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, very tired. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking forward to getting it over with, you know? Like, yeah. We've been doing this for so long now. It would be nice to just be able to finish it off, you know? Yeah, and like, all of our preparation for this, like, I mean, I don't know, like, it has to be worth it, right? There has to be something. We have to be getting close to this point. It's, we've been doing this for so long. Yeah. We got this. the whole time. Wouldn't that mean that he's three steps behind Blair? Clyde? Did you, did you seriously bring a whole filming crew? And they judge me for the Wii remote. Not me, bro. It's the end of the line, all right? No, oh, I, 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 come on. You've got to be tired of this, right? Like, no! <laughs> 
welcome to the party. So, this is getting us nowhere. Do we want to do a thing where I say something, um, you say something, I say something, and so on and so forth? Well, what if we do we say something and then you say something and then we say something? What if we, uh, roll this die? It could be weighted. Eh, but it's not. Uh, it could. It's not. There's gotta be a coin around here somewhere. We'll flip a coin. Fine. Heads you go, tails I go. Tails. Tails. With the gold standard, all paper money is tied to a fixed amount of gold. It helps prevent inflation because it's a resource with a set value that has to be mined. Your turn. But the gold standard is too rigid of a system, and mining costs a lot of money, and it's bad for the environment. And mining could never keep up with our growing economy. Your cons really outweigh your pros here. See, but that's where you're wrong. I make the gold! No harm to the environment. No worries about costs for mining. No worrying about keeping up to satisfy the demand. I make the gold. They use it. Okay, gold is fine, but fiat money is still better. That's where the government issues money, and it's powered by the relationship between supply and demand. It also costs less and is more flexible with our economic stress. But it doesn't cost less if I just make gold for free. And fiat money can be manipulated in the wrong way. That stuff causes inflation. It's only backed by the government's word. You talk about manipulation when you would be manipulating the gold supply. In fact, you're causing hoop to go down wherever you go. Do you realize that? It's just the transition back to gold. It'll be over in no time. No time! The country of Sitnalda literally sunk into the ocean yesterday under the weight of your gold. Well, sorry about that, but they were myths anyway. See what you're doing? It's all wrong. What would your mother think of this? Well, I don't know that, because she's dead. Which makes me the hero here. Every hero has a dead relative. That's, That's not, not the, the point. point! Max, who cares about the gold standard anymore? It's been gone for like 50 years. Times are changing. But the old ways were better, more stable, easier to keep in check. All this chaos though? People are dying because of your stupid gold. Is this really the type of person that younger you would have wanted to see? You're good at heart, Max. I think you've just lost your way. My younger self was always the sweetest little child. Always willing to help others, always trying to make the world a better place through the hard work and the determination. See, when did that little spark of joy in youth fizzle out into this? You can still redeem yourself by working hard and helping others instead of turning them to gold. Well, I'll see you then. Not this again. Fine. You win.
Welcome citizens, the world is back. Today is May 9th, 2024, and I'm your news anchor, Branley, doing better than ever. The world has been saved. We are glad to inform you that a pair of heroes whose identity shall be main, remain a secret, they have tracked down and captured Max M.W. and put a halt to his outrageous scheme of turning everything into gold. Who knows what the government has in, plan has in store for him now, but we can rest assured that our society and our economics will go on, at least for another day. That'll be all for today. My name is Branley, and I am your worldwide news anchor, and have a day greater and more amazing than any other. Everything's exactly how we left it. It's like nothing changed. Are you hungry? I could go for something. I mean, we just got back after all. We should probably have some breakfast. Sounds good. Quite the adventure that was. True. Uh, pancakes for dinner. It's a breakfast of champions. I feel like we've earned this. We just saved the world for the second time. I agree. You know, I'm glad I got to share this with you. Both of these times. You know, I just think we've been made into quite the dynamic duo. You know, I never expected middle of the night pancakes to be so good. Yeah. Ugh. Especially after all of that. Mm hmm. You know, I heard they sent Max back to a high school economics class. I hope he's doing all right. <laughs> that sounds awful. <laughs> Truly. What's with that, like, inexplicable 2 a.m. lo fi? Ugh. I think it's about time to go to bed. I have to get back in time to catch a flight for a fly fishing trip I'm going on. Alright, well, bye! I'll see you soon! You know, you could go with me. Really? Yeah, I... I mean, and I hope we could be coming home to the same place anyways after. Yeah, of course!
probably not going to work as well because it's really old and it's in the winter, but hey, that's pretty good. Don't eat the yellow snow, kids. Welcome, citizens of the world. Today, it's... And the groceries. <laughs> groceries. <laughs> just, this is on the ground. Oh. Salt grows on trees. Oh. <laughs> They're sprouting at least. <laughs> I'll eat these. I'll eat these ones. I'll eat one of them. I'll eat one of them. Yay! Oh. Okay. Pour some pancakes on your pancake. If you're buying bread from me specifically, because in every universe I stress <laughs> bake. There are three different kinds of inflation. There's cost push, which... Dang it. There are three different kinds of inflation. First, there's cost push, which is when prices for products go up. Wait, no. <clears throat> there are three different kinds of inflation. First, there's cost. There are three different kinds of inflation. Take five! <laughs> there are three different kinds of inflation. First, there's cost push, where price to make product. Take six! <laughs> There are three different kinds of inflation. First, there's cost push, where prices to make things goes up and it pushes the price along with it. But what we're dealing with is none of those. We're dealing with demandful inflation, which means too many people have way too much money. <laughs> Stop! Stop. Less inflation means that the dollar is valued at higher. For example, one dollar for wafers. Amazing. Perfect. But five! For something that's not even wafers! <laughs> okay. I forgot that there was water back there. <laughs> My feet are already wet. No! I'm trudging with you. I'm going. Cold feet, cold feet, cold feet. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh! oh. I made it. But I got the way. I apologize. Oh my god, there's a caterpillar! Ah, oh, my foot is so cold! You have a PhD in pancakes. I do have a, that's one of my science PhDs, is food science. There's mice in the ceiling, <laughs> and I can hear them running around. <laughs> Added a little man noises. This is us warming up. This is us warming up. Show Among Us. Live Moss. Live Moss. Among Us is in Among Us blushing made of denim. <laughs> Something interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Did not look good. That, nope. Nope. Ow. Not quite. I don't know what I say. Okay. With the gold standard. Yeah. I forgot my line already. <laughs> going to help others. I screwed up my line. No, so it's Max. Who cares about the gold standard anymore? It's been good for a dead fifty. Gone for a dead good fifty years. Well, so is my mom. How old are you? Hundred and two. This is inflation. It's coming for you. Inflation's gonna get you. It's, it's coming. It will. The government? It's killing us. That stuff? Dead. God. Please don't tell me you were filming that. I was. God. <laughs> Times are changing. Times are changing.
global warming and all that, you know, turning the Antarctica all sad. You know, you'll just have to wait until an environmental science project coming soon to a high school near you, maybe. <laughs>